Now we start this question then by drawing our two axes. We have the time along the horizontal here, t. Don't forget to label your axis in seconds. And we've got the speed in this direction, which is going to be in meters per second. So label the axis with the units. Now we're told that this car is starting from A and going at 15 meters per second so we'll put a 15 there and there's constant deceleration until it's going at 5 meters per second and it travels a distance of 120 meters over this period so what we would expect to see is that we would have a line coming down like this to the 5 constant deceleration and what I'll do is I'll put in a dotted line to this point here we don't know what this time is so what we could do is just say that this was at time t we also know that the area under a graph gives distance under the area under a speed time graph that is gives the distance traveled we're told that this is 120 meters so might as well put that in actually what happens next well the car then accelerates from this point here and this point here is w essentially so you could actually write a little w there if you like and this point here where it started by the way was a so you could do that so the car accelerates up to a speed v which is greater than 15 so we would put say a v up here it accelerates for 16 seconds so let's just draw a line up to there and this line is going to be over a period of 16 seconds so in other words the time interval here is going to be 16 seconds that's from there to there okay essentially this time here at this point would be big T plus 16 I'll mark that in big T plus 16 then we're told the car travels at a constant speed so that's going to be a horizontal line like this for 22 seconds so that means that this interval of time will be 22 seconds so that goes from there to there okay it's not drawn to scale but hopefully you get the right idea I'll just draw a dotted line in then just down to this point here so that means that this time here where the car finishes will be t plus all of this time 16 plus 22 a total of 38 t plus 38 seconds okay well when it arrives here by the way this point here is B so we've got the speed time graph then going from A to B so it should have something looking like this okay well that brings us now to the end of the first part then of this question